Hi, my name is Dr. Deborah Green. Thank you for joining me to learn a little bit about how you can help protect yourself from radio frequency and microwave frequency radiation such as that emitted by cell phones. You know, probably because I work in the field of energy medicine, people frequently ask me what they can do to help protect themselves and to help make their cell phones a little safer. Well, I don't think there's any such thing as a safe cell phone, but there are certainly steps that you can take that can really make a difference. So the first thing is to keep your cell phone off of your body as much as possible. It might be tempting to put the cell phone in your pocket or women have a tendency to want to carry it in the bra. These are not good ideas. You know, I'm probably dating myself, but when I was growing up, the televisions had rabbit ear antennas. And as kids, we used to play with those antennas. We would grab onto it and see what would happen. And you know what? The TV reception would improve when we were holding on to the antenna. Well, that's because our body is essentially electrical in nature. And so when we would grab onto that antenna, it would basically turn our whole body into an antenna and that would improve the TV reception. Well, a similar thing happens when you put your body in contact with a live cell phone. You're sort of turning your whole body into an antenna. And our brains and our hearts rely on electrical impulses to function properly. And continued exposure to cell phones and other kinds of radio frequency, microwave frequency devices can interfere with that kind of functioning. So keeping the cell phone off of your body is a really good idea. And also remember when you're text messaging, instead of holding the phone in your hand, just set it down on a desk or table and do your text messaging or access your email and so forth. Just keep the phone off your body as much as possible. In fact, keep the cell phone turned off as much as possible. You can then turn it on and access all your voicemail and email messages and text messages at once, and then you can turn it off again. Another thing that you can do to help keep the cell phone off your body is you can use a headset. And the best headset is called a hollow tube headset. And it looks like this. The difference is, instead of just being a copper wire with an earbud, this headset actually has a section of the copper wire cut out. And it's the section that's close to the earbud. And that section is replaced with a hollow tube. The hollow tube acts to interrupt the frequencies that are running on the copper wire. And it prevents that radiation from going into your head. So this hollow tube is much like the hollow tube that's used in a doctor's stethoscope. The sound waves still travel right through it and the sound quality is actually very good. But it does inhibit the frequencies from traveling into your head. So a hollow tube headset is really helpful and if you want to take a step further, you can get one of these little units. This is sometimes called a wire guard. And it's basically a ferrite bead. And you clamp it onto the wire of the headset. And what this does is, when you're using the headset, part of the wire will usually end up touching your body. And so again, we have the antenna effect. But the ferrite bead, or the wire guard, helps to mitigate that antenna effect from the copper wire touching your body. So hollow tube headset combined with a wire guard or ferrite bead is a really good idea. Another thing that you can do is forward your cell phone to a landline as much as possible. It's very easy to do. Most cell phones have a simple function to forward the, the calls. And so when you arrive at home or arrive at the office, you can just forward your calls to a landline. That way you don't miss any calls at all. 
But the important thing here is make sure that the landline is a corded landline. That's because a lot of common household and office cordless phones actually emit more electromagnetic radiation than cell phones do. So you want to forward your cell phone to, I guess what you would call an old-fashioned phone that has a cord, a corded landline. So the idea is to stay away from anything that's wireless or radio frequency. And that's why forwarding your cell phone to a corded landline is a really good idea. And it's a very seamless thing. Your calls go right through. Nobody will even know um, that you're not speaking on a cell phone. Another thing that you can do to help mitigate the effects of electromagnetic radiation is to get one of these. It's a tiny little button type of thing. It's called a Q-Link Clear. Now let me say right away, I do not work for the Q-Link company. I never have. I have no intention of. I don't sell any of these products. But I have seen independent research on the Q-Link products. And so I'm convinced that they function. And I feel confident in recommending them. With my iPhone, the case that I bought has a cutout on the back. Well, the cutout is designed to show off the Apple logo, but I actually covered up the Apple logo with a Q-Link Clear. But you don't have to buy a special case like this. You could adhere the Q-Link Clear to the front of your iPhone on the lower side or on the top here. Just make sure that you're not covering up any of the buttons or functionality of the phone when you do that. In addition, the Q-Link company makes a pendant. And the pendants come in different styles, different colors. This is the basic black uh, pendant. And I'm also wearing uh, a different uh, style of the pendant. And wearing a Q-Link pendant along with using the clear and using a hollow tube headset with the wire guard allows for layers of protection. And when it comes to protection from cell phone radiation, I really believe that dressing in layers is a good idea. So thank you very much for joining me today to learn a little bit more about how to make your cell phone a little bit safer. And if you want to learn more, please visit my website, radiationpage.com, and you'll find other helpful videos and you'll find a report that you can download for free that has all kinds of tips and things that you can do to help make your life a little safer in this wireless world that we live in. Thanks again. Bye for now.